In this video, we're going to focus on mole fraction and partial pressure. So there's different ways you can find the mole fraction. The mole fraction of, let's say, substance A is the moles of substance A divided by the total moles. Now the mole fraction is also equal to the partial pressure of A divided by the total pressure. Now the partial pressure of substance A is also equal to the mole fraction of A times the total pressure if you rearrange the second equation that we just wrote. Now, according to Dalton's law of partial pressure, the total pressure is the sum of all the partial pressures. And finally, the sum of the mole fraction is always equal to 1. These are all the equations that you need for mole fraction and partial pressure. So now let's go over an example. Let's say that we have 5 moles of nitrogen gas and 3 moles of oxygen gas and two moles of argon. So with this information, go ahead and calculate the mole fraction of these three gases. So let's start with nitrogen gas. So the mole fraction is the moles of nitrogen gas, which is five, divided by the total moles. If you add up all the moles, five plus three plus two is 10, and five divided by 10 is 0.5. Now think about what this number means. The mole fraction of N2 is 0.5. The mole fraction is basically a percentage, a mole percent in decimal form. So what we have here is 50% of nitrogen. 50% of the molecules is nitrogen gas. So if we had, let's say, 100 molecules, 50 molecules would be N2. Let's calculate the mole fraction of the other gases. The mole fraction of O2 is going to be the moles of O2, which is 3, divided by the total moles, which is 10. 3 over 10 is 0.3. So 30% of all the molecules is oxygen. And the mole fraction for argon is going to be 2 divided by 10, which is equal to 0.2. So 20% of all the molecules is argon. So out of a sample of 100 molecules, 20 would be argon, 30 would be oxygen, and 50 would be uh, nitrogen gas. Now, if we add up all the uh, mole fractions, if we add 0.5 plus 0.3 plus 0.2, the total number of moles, or the total mole fraction, is equal to 1, because 1 is the decimal form of 100%. So, using the same values, Let's assume that the total pressure is 1,000 torr. So using this information, calculate the partial pressure of each of the gases. So let's start with the partial pressure of N2. The partial pressure is going to be the mole fraction of N2 times the total pressure. The mole fraction of nitrogen gas, we said it was 0.5. So 0.5 times 1,000 is about 500. So that's the partial pressure of nitrogen, which means the pressure exerted only by the nitrogen molecules is 500 torr because 50% of the molecules is nitrogen gas. Now, the partial pressure of oxygen is the mole fraction of oxygen, which we know to be 0.3 times the total pressure, which is 1,000. Um, that's going to equal 300 torr. And the partial pressure of argon is the mole fraction of argon, which is 0.2 times the total pressure. So this is going to be 200 torr. So notice, if we add all the partial pressures, 500 plus 300 plus 200, this is going to equal 1,000. So 1,000 torr, that's the total pressure. So now you could see how 
all of the equations work together. So now let's try a few practice problems. Feel free to pause the video and see if you can get the answer to these questions. So we need to find a mole fraction of oxygen gas and we have the mass of O2 and N2. So let's convert grams into moles. So let's start with 16 grams of O2. Now we need to go to the periodic table and calculate the molar mass of O2. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16, so 16 times 2 is 32. So the molar mass is the number of grams per single mole. So one mole of O2 has a mass of 32 grams. So notice that the unit grams of O2 cancel. So 16 divided by 32 is 0.5. 16 is half of 32. So we have a 0.5 moles of oxygen gas. Now let's do the same thing for nitrogen. Let's convert it into moles. The molar mass for N2 is 14 times 2, so it's about 28 grams per mole. Now if we divide 7 into 28, or if you divide it backwards, 28 divided by 7 is 4, so 7 over 28 is 1 fourth. 1 fourth is the same as 0.25. So that's the moles of N2. So now let's calculate the mole fraction of O2. The mole fraction of O2 is the moles of O2 divided by the total moles, which is 0.5 plus 0.25, so that's 0.75. So how can we uh, simplify this without a calculator? Let's multiply the top and the bottom by 100. 0.5 times 100 is 50, and 0.75 times 100 is 75. Now, notice that both of these numbers are divisible by 25. So we can reduce this. So 50 divided by 25 is 2, 75 divided by 25 is 3, 1 third is 0.33, so 2 thirds is like 0.66 repeating or 0.67. And that's the mole fraction of oxygen gas. So if that's the mole fraction of O2, the mole fraction of N2 is going to be 1 minus 0.67, so it's going to be a 0.33. But this is the answer that we want for this particular problem. Here's another problem. So the total pressure is 800 torr, and we have the partial pressure of N2 and O2. It's 500 and 200 torr, respectively. Our goal is to calculate the partial pressure of helium and the mole fraction of O2. Now, according to uh, Dalton's law, the total pressure is the sum of the partial pressures of N2, O2, and helium. Now, the total pressure is 800. The partial pressure of N2 is 500. And for O2, it's 200. So we got to solve for the missing variable. 500 plus 200 is 700. And to solve for the pressure of helium, we need to subtract 700 from both sides. 800 minus 700 is 100. So that's how you can calculate the partial pressure of helium. Now, to answer the second part, of the question, we need to find the mole fraction of O2. Another way we can find the mole fraction is by using the partial pressures. The mole fraction of O2 is the partial pressure of O2 divided by the total pressure. The partial pressure for that is uh, 200, and the total pressure is 800. So we can cancel two zeros. So this is 2 over 8, which reduces to 1 over 4 if you divide the top and the bottom by 2. 1 fourth is 0.25. So that's the mole fraction of O2. Now, if we want to find the mole fraction for like the other ones, let's say if we want to find the mole fraction for N2, it's going to be, <laughs> I wrote the partial pressure. The mole fraction of N2 is the partial pressure of N2 divided by the total pressure. So that's going to be 500 divided by 800, which is the same as 5 over 8. 1 over 8 is 0.125 and if you multiply that by 5 you should get 0.625 that's the mole fraction of N2 so here's the last practice problem feel free to pause the video and try it so we have three gases we have the mole fraction of two of them and we need to find the partial pressure of neon so the partial pressure of neon 
is equal to the mole fraction of neon times the total pressure. And we have the total pressure, it's 1200. What we're missing is the mole fraction of neon. Now, the mole fraction of N2 plus the mole fraction of O2 plus that for neon is equal to 1. The total mole fractions, if you add all the mole fractions, it should add up to 1. Now for neon, I mean for nitrogen, it's 0.65. For oxygen, it's 0.25. And we need to solve for the missing variable. So let's get back to this equation later. 0.65 plus 0.25. 65 plus 25 is 90, so 0.65 plus 0.25 is 0.9. So if we subtract both sides by 0.9, 1 minus 0.9 is basically 0.10. 100 minus 90 is 10, so 1 minus 0.9 is 0.10. So now that we have the mole fraction of neon, we can now find the partial pressure of neon. So if we multiply 0.10 by 1200, what is the answer? 0.10 is 10%. 10% of 1,200 is 120. So that's the final answer. That's the partial pressure of neon. Now, what if we wish to find the partial pressure, let's say, of O2? All we need to do is take the mole fraction of O2 and multiply it by the total pressure. So it's going to be 0.25 times 1,200. So basically, we need to find 25% of 1,200. 10% is 120, so that means 5% is 60. And 20% is twice the value of 120, so that's 240. So 25% is 5 plus 20, or 60 plus 240, so it's 300. So therefore, 0.25 times 1200 is 300 torr.